for fuel efficiency is the lift over drag ratio, L over D, and the 777X has the, has the highest lift over drag, L over D ratio of any Boeing commercial airplane. That's what gives us the ability to create a fuel efficient airplane, 12% more fuel efficient. That'll be great for our customers. And by having the folding wingtip, there it is, folded. I think this is the first time people have ever seen this folded live. By having the wingtip folded, we can operate at, at airports that now all 777s can operate at. So, and also remember, and I talked about this in the last broadcast, the, the fold mechanism for the wing is simple, durable, and reliable. The process will be, will be automatic. It's, it's just a simple hinge. There's no components outside of the wing. Boeing has been building components like this for, for probably 100 years. And so it's going to be a great way to make the wing more efficient, to do it simply and effectively. So there's our, our folding wing tip on the very, very first 777X right-hand wing. I wanted to see now if there were, were any questions. Oh, but first, uh, <laughs> this is great. First, there are several people out there uh, making comments and saying hi to Hillary. Hi, Hillary. <laughs> Hillary's just, off, <laughs> Hillary's just off camera there for the great work that she did. People that work in the fuel cell, people should say hi, hi to them. Uh, we have a few questions. Are the 777X and the 787 uh, in the same market? And the answer to that is Boeing's philosophy is to build families of airplanes. Remember, the 787 family starts at about, for about 240 passengers to about 330 passengers. And then the 777X family takes over at about 350 passengers to about 420 passengers. So depending upon what the networks need, from the networks of our airlines need, depending upon what their demand is, we have airplanes that'll serve anywhere from 240 to 420 seats. We've got a complete family. And remember, the commonality between the 787 and the 777X, what I like to say is we've taken the best features of the 777, and the best features of the 87, we've added some new features, like the folding wingtip, to create the ultimate twin aisle airplane. And that's what the 777X family is going to be. So the 78 family, 777X family, we have twin aisle solutions for any and all customers. Are we getting any other questions there? Karen, the questions are, the questions are Karen Crabtree, 777X communications focal is off camera. She's been helping me through all these broadcasts. Let's see if we have any more questions. We have a very sophisticated high-tech system to relay the questions to me. She turns her laptop around. Um, give us a feeling of how big that folding wingtip is. Well, it's 11 and a half feet, uh, which is three and a, I forgot, I didn't do my meters today, which is like three and, a half, three and a half meters. So the total fold is 23 and a half feet out of 235 total feet. So it's really just the tip. I, I recommend that you watch our previous broadcast about the static test airplane. We had really a great picture of, of what a really small part of the of the wing, the folding wing tip is. Remember, it didn't take much to make the wing, the beautiful composite wing from the composite wing center across the street. It didn't take much to make the wing a uh, triple seven compatible, but we wanted to because it would help our customers. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I was looking at, Karen was telling me, so if you take me, because I'm about six feet tall, and if you double me, if I was standing on top of my, if I was standing on top of me, that's about how big the wingtip is. That's 11 and a half, 12 feet. So uh, other questions? I think we're almost out of time. That's too bad, because I'm really, I'm having fun today, because I, I just, I just really love, I love being around these airplanes, and the fact that this wing this wing is going to be the first one to fly. And then in 2019, when the airplane flies, you can look back and see, I saw that right-hand wing when it was when it was in the factory. By the way, after the work is done here, putting the components in, the factory is taken by crane, a big overhead crane here in the world's biggest building by volume, and carried over and joined to the fuselage. Fuselage is down that way. Hillary, oh, I have a question for Hillary. Hillary, uh, what inspired you to come to Boeing? It's a family tradition. My father's been here for over 30 years. My brother works here. I have two uncles that work here. And I just kind of followed in their footsteps. Uh, I want to thank the I want to thank the person who who sent that question is. What a great what a great question. I didn't even know. I should have asked. <laughs> Anything else, Karen, or are we uh 
there are questions coming in. Karen is furiously typing. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna want to uh, end pretty soon. Uh, the question is is what is what is fuel consumption? Well, we don't we don't talk about fuel consumption in in numbers, gallons per minute or anything. Oh, the the question clarification of the question. So the triple seven X is going to be twelve percent better fuel per seat than the a the A three fifty one thousand. My first mention of an Airbus airplane for this whole whole broadcast. So this air and twelve percent in terms of value to the airlines and thus value to the passengers. It's it's big. 12% is a lot. And to be able to fly further using less fuel makes it better for the airlines and better for you. The, the total wing length is from the wing from wingtip to wingtip is 200. That was the next question. What's the total wing length? 235 feet, which is 72 meters about. Don't hold me on that one. Hold me on the feet. I'll look up the meters in a bit. I think we're about, I think we're about ready to to end this broadcast, which is too bad because I'm having such a great time. So, Eric, make sure you get one last shot of the the triple seven X wing tip and pan through the wing, the right hand wing, because frankly, the next time you see this wing, it's going to be on that airplane and it's going to be going down the runway and it's going to be taken off as the triple seven X family uh, uh, takes takes to the sky. And you get a good shot. Here we are in the World's biggest building by volume. This is like one small part of this of this tremendously large facility. So, I'm Jeff Haber. Remember to go to Boeing.com, and you'll be able to find information uh, on the Triple Seven X. Also, this uh, live broadcast will be recorded, so you can tell all your friends and family if they want to have a look at something that hasn't been seen before uh, by the general public in commercial airplane production to tune in to uh, Facebook and Twitter alive so you can see the broadcast. So please keep in touch by email as we progress through on this journey from 777X from the original wing spar all the way through to flight.